Welcome home. It's great to have you back. Um, I heard that I should say these sorts of things whenever family returns home. To be honest, I had originally expected this place to be like an Adeptus abode. I never suspected that your design would differ so greatly from what I had imagined. Hmm. Most Adepti spend their years wandering the outside world. Though their abodes can be uniquely picturesque, they also feel like a lonely and remote paradise. But here feels very warm and cozy, and I have a nice person like you to keep me company. I've truly never experienced anything like this. What I mean is, I like it here. I will cherish this place and learn to adapt to life here. However, there are many pieces of decoration and furniture here that I've never seen before. I'm uncertain of their use or purpose. So please take a moment to explain everything to me when you could spare the time. Welcome home. It's great to have you back. Um, I heard that I should say these sorts of things whenever family returns home. Chat? Oh, then I suppose you must enjoy chatting, just like my master. All right then. Aside from my rigorous training in the Adepti arts, my master also taught me the skills of conversation. Though more often than not, she was the only one speaking, and I ended up just listening quietly. I suppose I should take the opportunity to practice whenever it presents itself. Why don't you start? Well, it seems that conversation is a skill that can't be practiced like other arts. There isn't any concrete methodology to mastering it as far as I can tell. I only remember my master saying that the purpose of talking is not only to convey information, but also to direct the mood and deepen mutual feelings. Well, according to her, you should pick topics of interest to your partner. That's the best way to direct the mood of the conversation. Before I met you, I wasn't close with anyone. There were barely any topics that would ever spark my interest. Well. Whenever my master brought you up as the topic, I'll admit I felt quite... amused. Yes, you. She said that you are widely regarded as a bold and fearless hero. But if people had seen the look of sheer panic on your face when you fell from the first jade chamber... <laughs> You're blushing. Oh, is this how it feels when the mood of a conversation begins to shift? It seems my master's conversation techniques are quite handy after all. I've got it. I shall go ask my master all about you. That way, we'll have many more common topics to discuss. Oh, I suppose there's no need to go through all that trouble. You're already sitting right here in front of me, after all. In which case, please, tell me more about yourself. I'll remember everything you say. Welcome home. It's great to have you back. Um, I heard that I should say these sorts of things whenever family returns home. Chat? Oh, then I suppose you must enjoy chatting, just like my master. All right then. Aside from my rigorous training in the Adepti arts, my master also taught me the skills of conversation. Uh, though more often than not, she was the only one speaking, and I ended up just listening quietly. I suppose I should take the opportunity to practice whenever it presents itself. Why don't you start? Well, it seems that conversation is a skill that can't be practiced like other arts. Huh. There isn't any concrete methodology to mastering it as far as I can tell. I only remember my master saying that the purpose of talking is not only to convey information, but also to direct the mood and deepen mutual feelings. I'm quite ashamed, actually. I have no talent for this, and my master's expertise hasn't rubbed off on me at all. 
The feelings shared between my Adepti teachers and me are quite extraordinary. We don't need to converse to deepen our feelings for each other. And besides them, I have no real friends. Which means that I've never had someone with whom to deepen my feelings. Well, whenever my master brought you up as the topic, I'll admit I felt quite... amused. Yes, you. She said that you are widely regarded as a bold and fearless hero. But if people had seen the look of sheer panic on your face when you fell from the first Jade Chamber... <laughs> You're blushing. Oh, is this how it feels when the mood of a conversation begins to shift? It seems my master's conversation techniques are quite handy after all. I've got it. I shall go ask my master all about you. That way, we'll have many more common topics to discuss. Oh, I suppose there's no need to go through all that trouble. You're already sitting right here in front of me, after all. In which case, please, tell me more about yourself. I'll remember everything you say. Welcome home. It's great, um... As a matter of fact, I would like something to eat. Well, no. Not really. I actually just wanted to sit and chat with you over a long meal. I heard that sharing a meal is really important to the people of Liyue. It's not only about eating, but rather sharing an enjoyable time with those that are important to you. When everyone gathers together over a meal, that's called a get-together, right? Ah, oh, like Lantern Rite. I know that everyone is supposed to release Shell Lanterns during that holiday. Oh, a pity that it's only once a year. I see. I used to always feel that the holidays had nothing to do with me. But now, there seems to be a longing in my heart for the next holiday to come more quickly. I would like to use all that I have learned to celebrate together with you. I've been growing thanks to your constant guidance. Believe me, I won't forget your kindness. And my feelings toward you are not only of gratitude. But anyway, let's celebrate the next holiday together. Yes, a big get-together. Welcome home. It's great to have you back. Um... As a matter of fact, I would like something to eat. Well, I heard that it's not when everyone gathers together over- Oh, like Lantern Rite. I know that everyone is- I see. I used to always- I would like to use all that I have learned to celebrate. I've been growing, and my feelings- But anyway, let's celebrate the next- Yes. Welcome home. It's great to have you back. Um, I heard that I- Oh. Up already? If those noisy birds woke you up, I'll go silence them right away. Huh? Oh, you don't want me to harm them? Fine. I'll just shoo them away. Don't worry. Welcome home. It's great to have you back. Um, I heard that I should say these sorts of things whenever family returns home. Good night. Have a nice rest. If you find yourself tossing and turning, I have some herbs to calm the spirit and help you sleep. Just let me know if you need them. Even if it's late, I promise it won't be trouble for me at all. 
so please don't hesitate. <laughs>